Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to jump into Project Felix. Project Felix is an app created by Adobe and it's still downloading right here trying to uh, get a new head by Boston and basically what I'm going to do with uh, Adobe Project Felix is to dive into real 3D design. Now I wanted to be like a 3D designer forever, I wanted to try this out and so on. I even used Blender before. Blender is also some basic uh, app that you can use to uh, go into 3D design, but it was so complicated. I even read a book, but it was still too complicated for me to actually get it working. And that's why I thought we could maybe go into Project Felix because they advertise it as the like easiest way to get into 3D design by just dragging and dropping stuff. And after it's downloaded, I'm going to dive into the app and take you with me on the first steps of designing 3D stuff in Adobe Project Felix. Okay guys, so now let's open it up. I'm really curious what we will explore there, what we will see. I think we, as UX designers, we should also focus on different projects, on different areas of creativity and different uh, creative skill areas. And I want to dive into uh, Project Felix because I have the feeling that 3D design is getting more and more important now with all the virtual reality games and stuff. So I'm going to open it up now for the first time and I'm really curious if I like really get used to it quite fast or if this really is something that I can work with. What happened right here? Can't use my PC, my, my MacBook anymore. Now it looks like Project Felix crashed my MacBook Okay, so now it worked. Now it's not really shutting down my MacBook anymore and they are showing me like a small video, but I just wanted to get into the new project that we are going to create. So let me get this on full screen and we are in the beta. Now this is, I guess, the area which we are going to use. We have some assets and so on. And this is the render video, which will show us the our final image. Now let's get started with some easy stuff. I'm going to drag in a bottle. So we can also uh, just drag it in up in the air or anywhere we want. And on the right side, we also have the values that show us the position of the element. So we can also rotate it like that. For example, Okay, so this is not really a tutorial. I just wanted to actually get into the app because I'm really curious. So now we have like a different position and I would really like to just uh, jump into adding some textures. So we have lights and materials and of course for a bottle, I would like to have plastic or, or glass and we just have, should have a look at that. I think we can just drag and drop it in. So now it should look like class and plastic, a plastic uh, top. So guys, I still don't really know what I'm doing right here, but we can drag in different materials and we see a small preview. Let me add some lights first so we can get a nice atmosphere. So I don't really know what you have to do. I, so, okay, so I guess, and now I got it. It's actually quite easy. You have to select the, the, like the layer on the left side and you have to drag it into this layer. Now, after you got it, I'm always drag it in over to the bottle. It sucks. Okay, so I guess I'm getting closer to the actual result. I now manage to open up the bottle square and I think we can now apply different materials and so on to the different elements like the square lid or the square lid ring right here or the actual body of the bottle. So I guess now we are really getting closer. You can also expand this. And what I don't know right now is to add, how to add different lights and so on 
to the actual background or to the scene that we are in because I've, if I drag in these lights onto a selected background then it's not really working because it's uh, like loading it up to the bottle that we have. Okay, so now I guess, yeah, I guess it worked because the bottle shows some reflections in the in the uh, bottom right, but then the actual scene is not really working because I think I have to add like a background image, but we won't do that right now. I just want to explore the app even more. Oh, you see that my, my voice is, oh, I'm getting sick. So we can add some more elements, some more objects. This is like a splash coming out of the the bottle or something like that. Maybe the bottle is actually broken and we have to change the position of our splash. So we see that we have like a splashed bottle right here and maybe we can add some more like materials also to the splash. Looks like some weird green material right now. Maybe we find something that looks more like an actual water or that looks really like liquid. And I'm not really curious how we can actually export the stuff that we created, but I can switch over to render and I can say I want the quality, quality to be low or let's say it's, it should be medium and let's render it. This will take a couple of seconds and it can export this stuff to a PSD so I can open it up for example in Photoshop. My vans of the MacBook are so loud right now. I'm not sure if you can hear this but it's super crazy. It's still processing, it's still taking time to get the actual render done because there are so many pixels and points that have to be included and rendered into the scene. But I'm curious if I can really get good at being a 3D designer in Project Felix. Now this was super easy because I used some existing elements and this was easy for me to just start out with the app. But I'm sure if you have more skills and you can also add custom items, you can add uh, different materials and so on, create them by your own and just get them into the app. Now I see that the splash is really taking so much time. Uh, the bottle is almost ready, but the splash now the splash takes super super long to render and I like to just uh, say that this app was easy for me to get into it for the most basic stuff that we did right now but yeah as I said I want to make sure that I can really dive into 3D design on a deeper level and I think Adobe Project Felix can help me with that I'm really curious and I just um, super super excited about being a 3d designer maybe someday because it's actually fun to create these realistic things which i really like so after it's ready i'm going to make a time lapse for now to just present you the final result Now rendering the video took so long that I decided to eat a tomato soup for lunch right in between and I'm really looking forward to the result. And I even had the time to watch Casey Neistat's explanation video about the drone. I made uh, the video about me watching the video, my reactions and so on. And this is the explanation video. I gotta say, I'm impressed. He explained a lot of the stuff that he did. There were some critiques and so on and I'm still very impressed about the video. There was so much hard work put into this and it was just for me as a filmmaker kind of interesting and inspiring to see what you are capable of when you are like a video maker. So now let's head over to the result of our uh, 3D project. I'm really curious. I'm super pumped about the results. Now look at all the details. Look at the lights and the small shadows and so on. It's perfect, but it took me like two hours to actually render it. I could like watch videos in the meantime, eat lunch and so on and well it just took so much time and I didn't know that it will take that much time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm still very new to this 3D designing and I'm just get getting closer to it and I just really want to learn how to uh, make designs in 3D, how to uh, make like realistic scenes and so on 
and I think you can help me with that so let me hear what you think down in the comment section and maybe if you enjoyed the video hit the like button. So yeah we see us on next week I hope you have a nice Christmas I'm looking forward to make like a Christmas episode but I just want to calm down right now I get a little bit sick and I just want to have a nice time with the family enjoy my time there and I think you will also have the and yeah, I think you will also have some family time, so enjoy it, Merry Christmas. Maybe think also about what Christmas is really is about. It's not just only about presents and family time, it's also about Jesus and he came to us on the earth. And I just want to say thank you for your support in this year, it was so amazing. And I'm still looking forward to the next year and a few upcoming days because I want to make a, a couple of cool things that will happen just now in December. Bye! I ain't wait this hard since I was 18 Apologize if I say Anything I don't mean Like what's up with your best friend We get all have some fun, believe me And what's up with these movies?